Well, hello and welcome to another episode in our Barney family YouTube and Facebook. And as you can see, us per usual guys out here in the, the garage just doing bits and pieces and whatnot. But um, just recently, David and I have really wanted to get a hold of reptiles. You know, like uh, lizards and snakes and stuff like that. And we've never ever had reptiles before. We've had dogs and cats and rabbits and all sorts of stuff. But never really reptiles. So obviously we've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and seeing what they need and all these sort of things. So, with all that sort of information in mind, I've really got to build um, you know, some sort of an enclosure for David and Emily. Emily's we got second hand, which is great. Obviously, we'll still have to do bits of it. And that one's for the snake. But the bigger one is this gecko tank, which I've built out of MDF. I've kind of halfway through it at the moment, so hopefully you'll see where I'm getting at. But hopefully this shows you like a, a real budget um, you know, area for this uh, gecko to be in. I sort of lose my words there. What's it called? It's not an aquarium, a vivarium. Is it a vivarium? Something like that, anyway. But, uh, you know, there's different temperatures and, you know, it's got to have water and light and UV light and all these sort of different things, you know. So, hopefully, in this video, guys, before the end of this video, we all set up and ready to rock. So, here we are in the kitchen, and of course, the kitchen was a huge project that we did sort of during lockdown. And uh, as you can see, it's starting to be well used now. Still got a few bits to do, bits to touch up and whatnot, but it's really kind of got there, really functioning, which is great. But what we're hoping to do is make a real kind of dinosaur -y scene, you know. Um, so Sean got a hold of these on the selling pages. Goodness me, I think they were like five pounds, you know, seven dollars or something. She also got a hold of one of these, which is like a, a an automatic feeder, as they call it. And apparently what you're supposed to do is put the beasties you know, that they eat in there and they eventually crawl out giving the gecko, um, you know, a bit of food to sort of chase around or, or whatever, you know. But also with the geckos, we've found that you need to have like one side of the tank, you know, kind of really dry and warm and the other side a little bit moist, you know, with some uh, water and bits and pieces like that, you know. But what I'm going to try and do is um, get the this painted firstly, I'm not going to bother you with that, um, but we're going to cut some perspex, some really thin perspex, and what we're going to do is put it on the front and on the bottom, so that the bottom is really wipeable, you know. There we go. Where's that doggy? Where's that doggy? Pili? You enjoying a wee bit of the sun? You enjoying a wee bit of the sun, are you darling? Oh, you're a good kid, I'll show you are. What a good kid. Yeah, she likes the sun, this one, don't you darling, eh? You like the sun? Yeah. Good girl. Make sure you drink plenty of water, okay? Yeah, so we're kind of getting there, guys. I just thought I'd pop through the living room just real quick and just give you a, a wee look at what we've been done. Just the usual, you know, kids are away off to school and all that. But, um, yeah, I mean, we're really wanting to get this house sold. You know, that's really quite important, getting this place finished off. Still a few touch-ups to do in here, but we're just about there in the living room. And, of course, as you can see, the dining room and me in the mirror, probably. Still got a little bit to do again going on in here, but uh, we've got some lovely new fish going on. Look, well, look at the size of this, guys. Look, they're, they're actually quite difficult to see. But it came from my dad's uh, fish pond in the garden. He's, he's turned it into something else. So these three, you'll just see another black one in the back there. There's three of them. They're all new. Hey, guys, what's going on? You hungry? You're always hungry. Yeah, so back to this. That's the first coat on, really, um, with the grey paint. And I'm going to have to hit the perspex next. So I've got a little bit of space up here on the counter. I'm going to cut some of this perspex. And believe it or not, with this perspex, I've actually cut this before I even bought the perspex. And it is so tight. I mean, it's so, so close um, in the size of it. So really, guys, what I really want to do is just cut this, cut this part here. Try and save as much of this as I can. But cut it. And we're going to put it in the back here. I'm going to screw it on with screws, obviously, and uh, washers, so nobody that will see it. And hopefully we're going to have enough left here to coat the bottom part of it so it's wipeable. So for that, we're going to use a little, uh, you know, just for the jigsaw, a little metal, like a fine metal blade. And I reckon that'll cut this really nicely. I've left on the cellophane wrapping, like, we'll leave it on there just in case. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try and save as much of this as I possibly can. Because this, this is all free, obviously. I built all this just for stuff right lying about the house. Five, ten pounds for a couple of the new things there. But this is about twenty pounds, so I really want to make sure and get the best use out of it. All right, so that's that cut, as you can see, hopefully. That's not bad at all. Should fit absolutely perfectly. And, of course, what I'm left with is this other part here. 
And again, this blue writing that you're seeing, this all comes off, you know, with a... You have to tear it and off it comes. And uh, we're going to put that on the back. But obviously, guys, we really need a wipeable bottom, you know. Um, you know, whatever's going to get dirty and all sorts of stuff, it is going to be the bottom, so we really need to do that. So there we go, that's it on the inside. And I'm really hoping, guys, you know, when we actually take this covering off, that it is going to be really nice and clear again. in. So I'll just have to double check that. So let's take a little look at that. Obviously, I have to take that back up and get the covering off it. I just don't want to get paint on it, you know. But it's looking absolutely fine like that. Obviously, this is still kind of, there's bits of this actually still drying, guys. It's just typical, you know, sort of stuck with time. But, you know, I'll take off all that stuff when this is properly dried out. So, yes, so we can see inside. Now, you don't want this anymore, Ria. Watch, it's quite heavy. It's very smooth on the other side. It's probably going to be too much, but what helps? Wait, 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 Something. Yes. They need a moist side mm -hmm. to shed their skin. Yeah, a moist, a moist side. Yeah, if I think about it, Emily's really good but with all this design fall stuff. Down at some point. If we put something in front, of it, it'd be fine. Absolutely fine. But don't it worry. It may still fall down. Yeah. Yeah, and so young doves is a little bit different, isn't right. it, son? Yours is a little bit bigger because the gecko does get quite big. I get that one and this one. Yes, and obviously he's, he's quite a funny shape. There'll be a different shape to the snake as well. Corn snakes, they do grow pretty big, but they're... snakes are usually really lazy, so they mm. don't move around. Dad, it's true, yeah. I thought of a name for my gecko. What? Salamander. Salamander. Oh. Salamander's uh, uh, a lizard thing, I think. A lizard thing. We'll have to have a really good think about it, eh? Because you never know until you get them, eh? Also, Salamander is actually a name of a Pokemon, if I'm not wrong. A Pokemon? A Pokemon. Oh, my goodness. So, guys, what we've got to figure out, we're getting lights for it. We don't have to worry about that just now. But these are very important. These are the heat pads, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And I'm still trying to figure out, this is David's one. Yes. And that's your one, anyway. Emily's the smallest. Right, okay. We've got some plants. Now, guys, I've also got some driftweed for Emily's one. She wants kind of... This mine. No, this is Emily's, remember? Yeah, but I get half. Aye, alright. Yeah, um, and what we're, that's going to be so the snake can sort of curl up and go up it if he wants, eh? Well, I don't even know if we're getting a boy or a girl yeah, yet. She. Yeah, we don't know yet, do we? So that Emily's, that David's, that Emily's, that David's, that Emily's. My that time is trying. This is quite big, and again, guys, the gecko's going to get quite big, you see. And obviously, the gecko's a little bit different, a reptile, whereas a snake. He's a wee bit more kind of relaxed, isn't he? And yeah, the most laziest. Yeah, and he, we'll give him some stuff to They're climb up and go through. They're the laziest reptiles. They just, they still move. It's perfect. So guys, a nice, yeah, bit, of, a nice bit of driftwood from the beach. Check it out. Ooh. And that's David. That was up him. to the corner. There's no way you can get out of there. It's not all the way up to the corner, mm. but... It's not bad. And what are you going to make of a gecko? What are you going to make of a gecko and a snake? Oh my goodness me. What about a snake, Bells? This dog chews up anything. She's find something to chew on. Where's she off to? Right, so that's one in David's, one in Emily's. That's really cool. Do you want any rocks in it? Like a, a big flat rock that you can lie on? <laughs> eh? That's excellentis, excellentis. Right, so the plan is coming together. This actually feels like a warm blanket. Yeah. Just, does it just feel warm, does it? Yeah, it's Aww. still heating up. We've never had reptiles before, have we? This is all new for us. Emily, guys, is going for a little bit different. She's going to go for like the more natural <laughs> stuff. The greenery. Because snakes kind of like to get themselves into the air and hide their heads and they think they're hidden. They're not actually, but they think they are. And David's one, we're going to have a little bit more barren. As you can see, guys, it's going to be like that sort of wood. It's going to look like a, a wee bit deserty, you know? So that should Wait, look really Dad, cool as well. For yes. For some reason, with this bit and that there, it kind of looks like a fallen tree. It does a bit, doesn't it? It's really nice. I like it. Oh, and look at this, guys. I mean, it looks like a fallen tree, Emily's saying, doesn't it? And if I get that there, it'd be a little hideaway. Ah, there. it'd be a hidey hole. Because they like the little hidey holes, don't they? They like the little places to hide. 
how to stand it. That's okay, Daddy will do that though. If you if you if that's where you want, I'll make sure it's on. I think you just have to screw it on. I'll just screw it on the weed, it'll be fine. So we're here now at Waterworld, aren't we people? Aquatics. Aquatics for this day uh, to get the snake on the gecko. This is what the guys have been waiting for. Here, there. Are you chewing in the water? Yeah, yeah. See that one yeah, right there? Yeah, there's a peek in them, isn't there? That's David. Look, there's David. Oh, they are lovely. Oh, look at this guy. Hey. What is that? Oh my gosh, you are beautiful! Dad, look at this dude! Look at her! That's a female? She is beautiful. Yeah, they're reserved, they're obviously bought. Oh, someone's already bought it. You're not hiding, are you? Guys, I just found a water dragon. You are beautiful. Hello, little one. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Dad, I found a water gecko. Oh, they're lovely. Look at bearded. Dragon's gorgeous. There's some different markings and different colours to others. We like having the whole movies to see where they came from, don't oh, we? Oh, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they are gorgeous. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, look, oh, look at that. So that's your, it's, that is the super snow leopard gecko. Oh. Nice, eh? They're the ones that drop their tails, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. So, so the geckos can't drop their tails if they get too stressed up. Oh. Yes. Mm. So no music on the way home, eh, guys? <laughs> we're, we're, thump, we're thumping the music on the way here. Oh, we're going to okay. keep it quiet the way home, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just be left, and obviously it hasn't been handled because the zone are scared of him. They're quite happy to just... Oh. <laughs> oh. Aren't you? Aren't you sweetheart. lovely, darling? Eh? Oh, but no. to be fair, a big one, it's not, majority of them are really good for handling, they matter fit size that are. Really? Yeah. Right. Well, I've never think... really met a beardie that is, I'm not going to say aggressive, but I haven't really met one that's aggressive, aggressive to be right. fair. Oh. Um, they are, as I wait to see. so lovely, look at that. And considering that these ones, these are our rescue ones, they've obviously been really? mistreated as oh, well, so for me, he's friendly, it's what he is, it's, 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 it's awesome. amazing. Yeah. But I think once you've got them, like, Hi. so they're not normally I to be fair, like, <laughs> no, no, he's yeah. just, <laughs> he'll be fine when he's settled in, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. okay. Do you oh, just want the up. one box? You get one box free with something to eat. Oh, yeah, of course, aye. give us another oh, box, another absolutely, box. aye, that'll be fine, Emily's got Perfect. your land. And then your rats are in there. You're, well, you're nice, I'm calling them rats, they're new rats. They're... Right, so no music in the car this time, eh? We've got them there, spikes in there, and he's nice and happy just now. So we're no music, no shouting loud and scary everything, do we? Just make sure it's nice and relaxed now. You're wondering where you're going. I think you're just excited because you're getting a new home. And look at this, guys, we're at McDonald's in Aberdeen. My my bearded dragon is Spike, and my doesn't know what to call hers because we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. We don't know yet, do we? And the and the tongue isn't just a two piece; it's a three. Piece. It's a three piece tongue. And it goes like. <laughs> <laughs> oh and my goodness! Oh my goodness! Where is she? There she goes, Luke. This is Elliot. Oh, wow. Mine is oh. called Spike, Spike of course. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the back here? Look at the back here, thing, son. Look at the back here. Cage, sorry. I think you're okay. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, Hi, Elliot. Oh, little Elliot. He's a little Elliot. Did he talk? Feel the wee tongue. Feel the wee tongue. I don't think she'd bite her in her just now, am I? No, it's okay. Hmm. Take your time. Take your time. It's okay. Yeah. It's oh, Luke. Elliot has already shredded him or her skin. Yeah, look, there's a whole shredded skin. That was amazing, actually. Okay, Elliot. Elliot, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's straight. Oh, it's oh, straight up. Wow. <laughs> She's a way up, Luke. <laughs> 
straight away. Hey, It'll just take time. She said for the next couple of days they've just got to be inside their inside their. Mom, we also in bought well, It's okay, darling. Don't worry. It's okay. Come on, mummy. Do your so thing. Bite you will. Do I need to go? It's okay. he will you really go. need to kind of take a hard on, kind of. Don't don't you can't go slowly. Just take a hold on with your right hand. Remember the man said to do the. Hey. Mm -hmm. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. There we go. There you go, darling. Oh, lovely. And you love. And in he goes. <gasps> How's that, big boy? What do you think? What do you think of your new home? Hey, what do you think, okay. darling? <laughs> So Spike is really settling and we'll put a cricket in guys, you see the little cricket there? Might be quite hard to see. We come back, we go forward, this way, yeah we go, got him. But I think Spike's just, he's just trying to get used to his new home, he's not really in the mood yet. But we'll leave that cricket there, I'm sure he'll nail it at some point. Look at the wee tongue. <laughs> just trying to figure out what's there, the taste, and you see, what's that? What is that? What's that, Elliot? Hey. Hello, baby. Ah. Hello, son. Hello, son. Go here. Go and get it. Go and get it then. Hey, go and get it. Yeah, the cricket's over there, guys. Hopefully, you'll see just under the under the light. I think he's sort of cottoned on to it all now. I think he's going to have a look around. Right, you got plenty of water. You don't get fed till Monday, so that's fine. Elliot is big. She doesn't look big, but she is. She's like a almost a foot long, I would say. And she's yeah. a baby. And, and she's just a baby. I think she's gonna get one. She's her full size. Yeah. So we have been discussing it, guys. I think I made that tank there for a gecko, but we have now got a, a, a foot long um, bearded dragon. So I think this is gonna be her new home, isn't it, Emily? Eh? Yeah. Gonna make that your new home, girlie. I think so. Yeah, so there we go guys, David's new baby boy. Hey, is, that your, is that your baby boy son? Mr. Spikey. Hey Spike. Hey, he's a lovely boy. Mm. Now go and stroke his head mum. Watch, watch the eyes guys, watch this. Watch him. Oh. There it goes, look. Oh. See the eyes closing. Mm, go on to sleep. Yeah, has uh, this eyes open. He's kind of looking at me. Oh no, this one's closed. <laughs> I'm get used to that. It just takes a wee while. Oh there he goes. There he goes. How's that, son? How's that, son? There you go. Oh, I saw your tongue that time. <laughs> yeah. I do it's when he kept licking the side of the glass. Yeah. Yeah, big toe. Yeah, just gorgeous. So he's about a foot long, guys. Just you know, if you if you have a look. Now he will grow about two feet. So that is basically the size of this. Um, so, Daddy's gonna have to build another one. Hey, son. Yeah. Build a big bad boy. And of course, it's Bailey dog. Look. Oh, can you sorry, smell the snakey? I know. I'm sorry, him? Bailey. You can't have any of that. Yeah. It's morning. It's morning. And how are the how are the the focus today? The dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how you do. You have a good sleep, mister? Hey, did you have a good sleep last night? I woke up, went downstairs and saw him standing right there. And I'll tell you something, I missed it this morning because I was still in bed, but he ate his first uh, locust. Cricket. Cricket. Hey, you no, son. he didn't. You just munched it straight away, didn't you? Oh, no, no, no. So now we're through Friendly's first real hold of him. Hey, it's a proper hold, eh? Hey. You're okay, son. You're okay. Um, he really likes getting petted yeah. under here. He made some new friends. Yeah, he likes getting petties under there. He's a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. He is kind of, it's, it's difficult to tell if he's happy or sad. He's a wee bit flat, isn't he? Yeah, and when he's happy, his beard goes like in and out. Oh, right, okay. That's when he's happy. Yeah. When I'm happy, I go crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I feel nice. 
he's a lovely wee thing. Well, he's a lovely big thing. I keep saying he's a wee thing. He's flipping huge. And he's going to even huge, isn't he? But yeah. even though um, Elliot is tiny right now, he's going to grow a, maybe mm. the size of me or mum. Two, two feet. Yeah, yeah. 24 inches. He's, he's going to be a big boy. Right now, from head oh, to the tail, he's actually 18 inches. 18 You're inches. On, aren't mm. you? He's Imagine a... what he's going to be like when he's 14 years old. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There you go, son. Look, the little one. Takes him a little bit longer to Here we go. It feels so soft. Oh, it's a little. There you go, buddy. Okay, darling. What's up? Oh, she's lovely. Look, it's a swap hand. What's up? Maybe. Yeah. That's so nice. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Elliot. Elliot. Okay. There you go, darling. Oh, <laughs> there we go. You just chill, little Missy. Mr. Missy. <laughs> Whatever you are. <laughs> Alright, right, I'm still here. Go. Oh, lovely Elliot. So guys, we will have tons and tons of videos coming, won't you guys, for Elliot and Spike. Look at this, eh? Okay. This takes time to get used to it. I don't know how to do it. It's okay, darling. Oh. Lovely. There we go. There we go, Elliot. There we go, Elliot. Yeah, okay. I don't know what you would do. What would you do, Bailey? I have no idea. Eat, I think. Yeah. Watch her. So, guys, listen, thank you so much for watching. And like I said, Emily and David will have lots of videos coming with Elliot and with old Spike over there, you son. Yeah. 